Megan Good's relationship with Jonathan Majors has certainly drawn a lot of attention, especially given the serious controversy surrounding him. It's understandable that her friends had concerns, considering the intense public scrutiny and the dark cloud of legal trouble hovering over Majors. Jonathan Majors was convicted on charges of harassment and assault related to his ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari, in a case that became a media firestorm. During his trial, the details were disturbing. Majors was found guilty of assaulting Jabari, which included pulling her finger, twisting her arm, hitting her, and shoving her to the ground. Surveillance footage played a crucial role in the case, capturing moments where Majors was seen shoving Jabari into a vehicle and then forcibly pulling her back out, dragging her onto the sidewalk. Despite the legal issues and public backlash, Megan Good reportedly began dating Majors in May 2023, just two months after this traumatic incident took place. With such a high profile relationship already under a microscope, it's no wonder that Good's inner circle might have been wary of how this would impact her own public image and personal safety. Navigating a relationship in the spotlight is difficult enough, but when your partner has a history of abuse and legal battles, it becomes an even more delicate situation. It leaves a lot of questions about how Megan is handling the weight of these concerns and if she might ultimately reconsider her choices in light of the ongoing scrutiny. Jonathan Majors was ordered to attend 52 weeks of domestic violence programming in Los Angeles, pay a $250 surcharge and continue going to therapy. Looks like the heat is on for the actor, but here's where it gets interesting. A source previously told people that Megan Good, yes, that Megan Good had been standing by his side, providing Majors with support while he faced these serious domestic abuse allegations. Now, we're all wondering what's really going on between them. During a recent appearance on Today with Hoda and Jenna, Good opened up about her relationship with Majors. Well, I won't get into how it started, she said, but I will say is that the support we've been able to give each other, the pouring into each other, the honest conversations, the love, the respect, just the care and the thoughtfulness. It's just been really wonderful. And you know, we are all ears for this tea. She shared a little insight, but trust me, we're going to need more details about how things are playing out between these two in the midst of such a scandal. When Hoda Kotb asked Megan Good if any of her friends advised her to wait until Jonathan Major's legal troubles blew over before getting involved with him, Good didn't hold back. She said, uh, yeah, every friend advised me, but here's where it gets real. Despite all that advice, Good made it clear she's marching to the beat of her own drum. She went on to say, one thing I know is I can always look myself in the mirror when I trust my spirit, when I trust God, and when I move to the beat of my own drum. No matter what happens, I have peace and harmony in my heart. So basically, Megan standing firm in her decision, fully aware of the drama swirling around them. Good also made it clear that while she values her friend's advice, at the end of the day, she's the one living her life and she's gonna be responsible for her own choices. She wrapped it up perfectly. I want to live the life that I want to live. Oh honey, Megan Good's love life is looking like a real life soap opera right now. It seems like Sis is stuck in a never ending relationship roller coaster and things with Jonathan Majors are not as picture perfect as they appear on the surface. On screen, they might be giving us that couple goals vibe, but behind the scenes, there's a whole lot of drama brewing. Even though M Megan has stood by Jonathan through thick and thin, where it is that she's starting to feel real uneasy about their situation and might be thinking of calling it quits. To add even more spice to the mix, Megan has been opening up about her past relationship with Devon Franklin during recent appearances and honey, the regret is real. It looks like she's seriously reflecting on what went down during their divorce. And there's a sense that maybe, just maybe, she's wondering if she made the right move by letting him go. You can feel the tension in her words when she talks about it, like she's carrying some major regrets. So what's next for Megan? Is she gonna stick it out with Jonathan or is she ready to cut ties and move on from the drama once and for all? And could it be that she's thinking about what might've been if she and Devon stayed together? Megan Good has been in the entertainment industry for over 30 years, starting as a childhood star in cult classics, 
like Eve's Bayou and Cousin Skeeter. Over the years, she's evolved into a beloved, seasoned actress in Black Hollywood and beyond. But just as her career shifted, so did her personal life. In 2012, on the set of Jumping the Broom, where she was one of the stars, Megan met Devon Franklin, a pastor and producer who was working as an executive for the distribution company. Smitten, Megan married Franklin, believing he was the man God had chosen for her. She had previously opened up about how her past toxic relationship led her to a spiritual awakening. The first thing God told me was to leave that relationship. Then he told me it was time to be celibate. And finally, God said Devon was my husband. She once shared. Everything seemed perfect until it wasn't. After nine years of marriage, Megan and Franklin publicly announced their divorce in December 2021. The kicker, it wasn't her decision. The divorce was finalized on June 23rd, 2022, right after what would have been their 10th wedding anniversary. A lot of people were shocked because to the public, they seemed like the perfect couple. Although Megan Good has moved forward by dating actor Jonathan Majors for several months, her divorce from Devin Franklin still weighs heavily on her heart. In a raw and emotional appearance on Club Shay Shay, Megan opened up about just how deeply her split affected her. My divorce shook me to my core, she admitted during the podcast. She went on to express her confusion and disappointment, saying, Lord, you asked me to be celibate, and I was. You told me to marry, and I married that person. I tried to do everything to the best of my ability. No, I didn't do everything perfectly, but I don't know if I could have done anything differently if I'm being honest. The pain in her voice was clear as she shared how blindsided she felt by the end of her marriage. I was like, why is this happening? My greatest fear was that my husband would leave me after 10 years of marriage, just like my dad left my mom. And that's exactly what happened. Despite the glamorous front, it's clear that Megan's personal journey has been anything but smooth. The heartbreak still lingers, but she's showing incredible strength as she tries to heal and move forward, even as she navigates a new relationship in the public eye. According to Megan Good, it took a lot of prayer, self-reflection, and learning to get back to a place where she felt healed, whole, and happy. It was a lot of rediscovering God and realizing that sometimes the way we see things isn't necessarily wrong, but we come into different seasons, she explained. She continued, at the time, I was so mad at Devon, but now I think what he did was brave. To grow in the ways we were supposed to, we needed to be married for that specific time. I can now look at Devon and say, that's a good person and be grateful for our time together. It's clear that she's come to terms with her past, even appreciating the lessons learned from her marriage. Now, Megan is entering a new season in her life and things are looking up with a new movie on the horizon, Tyler Perry's Divorce in Black, and a new man in Jonathan Majors she seems to be glowing. Majors has shown just as much support for Megan as she's shown for him. She even revealed that Jonathan was the one who encouraged her to ask for a higher pay rate for her newest movie, A Major Boss Move. Good seems to be happy and thriving, especially with her new beau by her side. My man is sexy to me, she excitedly told Shannon Sharp. Looks like Megan is living her best life and we're here for it. As Megan Good steps into this new chapter, it's clear she's not just surviving, she's thriving. From heartbreak to healing, she's emerged stronger, wiser, and with a renewed sense of purpose. But let's be real, if there's one thing we know about Megan, it's that she's always full of surprises. Who knows what's next for the actress? Who's proven time and time again that no setback can keep her down for long? One thing's for sure, the world will be watching and Megan's going to keep giving us something to talk about. Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to click this next T.